Today on Shooting the Q, we're going to be making my version of the classic French bread pizza. The only thing we're doing different, we're kicking it up a notch with Cheshire Farms homemade pepperoni. Hope you're ready. Now I've went ahead and I've sliced the pepperoni. Now the only thing left to do, I split the French bread in half. Now all we want to do is go ahead and take some pizza sauce. We want to go ahead and I want to mash the bread down just a little bit in the center, just to kind of form almost like a little bit of a bowl. But I don't want to scoop it out. You can see how the top can sometimes be tricky, you want to pop back up. So take your spoon here. You can put as little or as much as you like of pizza sauce all on it. Some people like more, some people like less. That's about right for mine. Go ahead, a little more on this one. Now you can make this your own. You can do whatever you like. You can do barbecue pork on it. You can go endless with these ideas on this pizza. Just whatever you want to do. Now I want to take and go ahead and get a little bit of good mozzarella cheese blend. You, you always want to use a good mozzarella cheese. Now this is kind of a thick cut. It's made by Telemook, I believe is how you pronounce it. It should melt in really, really good. And we are cheese eaters, so we want to get a lot of cheese on here. Now, the big thing about this is, this pepperoni that's homemade from Cheshire Farms is going to really set this off. Get a lot of cheese on there. Now, I want to come back now and top it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Just for a little bit different of a taste, a little bit of salty crunch on here. Now what's going to kick this up a little bit different, what we like doing, I like taking my garlic butter rub and coming right now and coming and sprinkling a little bit on top of that cheese. Now this garlic butter is just going to amp it up a little bit flavor wise. Now I want to take this Cheshire from pepperoni and I've sliced it kind of thin, some kind of thick, kind of depends on how you like it, I just rough sliced it. Now that we've got our French bread pizzas built, we want to get them on our Traeger grill. We've got it running about 400 degrees with hickory pellets in it. All right. All right, now we've got our French bread pizzas on at 400 degrees. We want to go ahead and get the Traeger shut. And they're probably going to cook anywhere from 15, 20 minutes. We're just going to check them, make sure the bread's good and toasty before we take them off. All right, it's been 15 minutes on the Traeger grill at 400 degrees. As you can see, our French bread pizza is ready to come off. It's got a nice crusty edge all around it. The bread is where it needs to be, so let's get it off. All right, now just to do a quick recap before we get into this pizza. We took some French bread, cut it in half, stuffed it down a little bit, put some pizza sauce in it, come back with some good mozzarella cheese, some good Parmesan, sprinkled a little bit of my garlic butter rub on top, and sliced up some really good pepperoni from Cheshire Farms out of North Carolina. We put it on the Traeger at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. It's got a nice crust to it. Only thing left to do is try it out. I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna cut me a wedge off. You feel that crust? Did you hear that? taste on the cheese and this good pepperoni from Cheshire Farms puts this quick meal over the top. If you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends. I hope to bring you more on Shoot